see me? Wait. Please, I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. They're coming. Who defaced the pages of this manifesto? This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! Well, is it? Not the defaced manifesto. Where is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. <gasps> I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? I did not call for please, Rock. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. It's not like that, Derringer. I can handle this precal myself. Look. I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. These are the words of Zager. Zager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking I her didn't to read anything! I am Jill Derringer. You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever shut up? Bring her a blanket. I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Recent events have brought us the capture and killing of a man whose sinister, disgusting actions caused no small amount of grief. You 
know who I am referring to. I will not speak his name again. But even though he has been eliminated, other threats remain. Just tonight, another treasonist was attempting to infect the minds of our youngest and brightest with lies, masquerading as divine text. This Mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic, my friends. And in return, she will watch over you. difference. There's no way you can help me from there. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. Did you do that? Did you open the door? I don't know who you are or how you're doing this, but somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? A good reminder, use the cameras to see what's in the next room. Hello. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I am the one who found the phone in the girl's room just a moment ago. I've returned the phone to her because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link 
giving you access to our facilities online network. It is called OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of sight, you'll need to scout ahead for her. The rest I'll explain as you go. Good luck. I'm sure you can hack it in this place. That was a joke by the way. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. Arrival proceeds as planned. We will not be swayed by cowardly acts of terror. Stricter punishments for traitors urged. I heard the powers that be are secretly hoping for some kind of an attack to justify all these new security measures. And while they would prefer it to be bloodless, I suspect they'll take anything. Perhaps they'll even carry it out themselves to ensure it happens before the arrival. Sanchez. Yes, madame. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madame. I once spent some time stuffed in a locker. This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular in high school. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. This is P0 brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl in the bottom left corner of your screen. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. I found some pepper spray. Recently, the children in Metamorphosis have become more brazen in their attempts to take things from the Prizrak. Surely, this was Zager's influence. Look, pepper spray. I found some pepper spray. Firefight with Prizrak. The depravity of this man was boundless. 
Best to remove the comments section for the online edition. And change Shot Dead by Prizrak to Killed in Firefight by Prizrak. This way it suggests he was given a sporting okay, chance. Sports. When the surveillance video of this day surfaces, and it will, it's going to require major surgery if they want it to look like justice. Last month, a pre-kale got their hands on a canister of pepper spray. They blinded a loyalist Prizrak during routine inspection. Wanted. Well, Derringer and the Overseer got what they wanted. A trophy kill. I'm surprised they didn't drag Zager's body through the facility as a warning to all of the would-be revolutionaries. I was given this award for my loyalty to the Prizrak. Ironic, given the current circumstances. They also misspelled my name. The great thing about Kickstarter is that we can bring back classic games from the past. I remember playing the Shadowrun pen and paper game in my parents' basement. It was kinda fun. I hear it's much better when you play with other people. Derringer asked me how much money I wasted on this DFA poster. I said it was $10. I lied. Turns out it was $250 on Kickstarter. Worth. Every. Penny. As a reminder that Kickstarter is, and will forever be cool, I hang this Shovel Knight poster proudly. The box that I keep my video game cartridges in. If I ever get my games back, I'm going to store them in a more secure fashion. The paranoia is warranted in this case. A precal once found the key to the armory and stole a dozen tasers. It took seven Prizrak to finally bring him down. Despite being obnoxious, this poster makes a valid point. The girl is less likely to attract attention if she walks softly.
the Prizrak waged their campaign against Zagor from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zagor's a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him now. Should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. A fingerprint scan. It would be terrible if this got into the wrong hands. They would have a lot of power at their fingertips. Hint, hint. Going in for the steel. Nice. into Rick's pockets. Got it. This is a battery charging station. Certain Omni abilities will drain the battery on the girl's phone. You'll see her battery life displayed in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Direct the girl to any recharging station to juice up. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. You just found a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. 
any data you collect by scanning items in OmniView can be traded to the data broker in exchange for new Omni abilities. Omni abilities are valuable tools for gathering information and assuming control of the girl's environment. See anything you like. Read email exchanges. Gentlemen, I am not going to explain this to you again. Mireille Prado can him and haul all she wants, but that is not in charge of security. I am. You transfer copies of the children's fingerprints to my secure server, or you can consider yourself reassigned to the graveyard shift. We have observed you spending a great deal of time in the library recently. Perhaps I should ask the librarian about these indiscretions. Did he give you the poisoned manifesto? If not him, child, then who? Speak! I have been put here to shepherd you. But you must accept that help, or we will both face the consequences. This email was sent more than a month ago. The pre-cal in question, 933W, is still at large. It seems the librarian has been flagged for suspicion of distributing the poisoned manifestos. I hope the girl finds him before Derringer does. Not surprisingly, the Prezrak who wrote this is no longer with us. The security checkpoints in this facility are always evolving. Yesterday, pin codes were all the rage. Today, it's fingerprint and iris scans. Tomorrow, it will be blood. This is Quinn Derringer. We've had another instance of someone screwing with the generator over at the power station. I ordered that fingerprint reader installed a week ago. I want it done today, is that understood? Call me back when you get this. And I suggest you give me the news I want to hear.
This is an early prototype for a weapon Derringer insisted we need in Metamorphosis. With Zager dead, I'm not sure who Derringer thinks we're at war with, but he bought 5,000 of these things with money from our annual food budget. Hopefully, they are edible landmines. Well, when you ask me nicely like that, Cooper, I went looking for you earlier in your little woman cave over there. I shouldn't need to tell you what I found was entirely unacceptable. You were given the added task of overseeing the surveillance monitoring program, because I thought you were man enough to handle the responsibility. However, now that I've been exposed to all that in your office, I'm forced to reevaluate my decision. This is a severe behavioral disorder, Cooper. And in its own way, as screwed up as anything Zager tried to do. I expect you to fix this lapse in judgment before I have to come back with a hammer and a trash bag. Station 17, this is Madame Prudot. Concerning that Plical I had interned 390H, I require more time with this subject prior to her dissection. However, I feel Derringer is bent on challenging my judgment. And after what happened with 933W, I feel compelled to remind you, all children are under my authority. If he attempts to interfere, you will locate me immediately. Do you see the door there? That's where I have to go. If I can get to the library, I can find the librarian. He can protect me. Hey, Clark. You can sleep in your desk. Come on. Derringer wants us to lock up the atrium. I had a dream I won the lottery. Yeah? What was the jackpot? Ten thousand. You gotta dream bigger than that if you wanna buy your way out of here. Now's our chance. 
Let's go through this door. Can you hack the door? It didn't work. Hello. It is Cooper again. You cannot open that door with your current version of the OmniView software. You will need to update your software at a daemon server. Upgrade to version 1.0 and you can open this door. Then, you can get the girl to the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. I will add this waypoint to your map. Proceed with caution. It seems like you have a plan. What do we need to do? How's it sound? Dear Mr. Derringer, after mentioning this to you in passing, I wanted to send you this letter reminding you of my sincere desire for advancement. I believe I have a lot to offer, and in my current position, I will not be able to demonstrate my true potential. Plus, it's boring. Whenever you have time, I would love the opportunity to discuss my moving to the day shift at greater length. Sincerely, yada yada yada. How's that? There is an ideal we all live by. A pillar upon which all our collective hopes and aspirations are stacked, extending upwards towards a glorious future. We create symbols to give these ideals power. To remind us to look up, to look forward. Today I give you that symbol with an expectation of the greatness it will inspire. We must remain open to all things while still vigilant against the corruptive forces working around us. Let this symbol be our beacon through the long night and let it stand as a testimonial once we reach the light of the sun. It's been a long time since I allowed someone to speak to me this way, Librarian. I will not shy away from telling you what I see. You are the dark ruler of this world, Overseer. This isn't a world, yet. Merely a small corner of it. And the darkness you perceive persists only because you refuse to open your eyes. Now, if you will excuse me, I must tend to more pressing matters in the terminals. You don't have access to this part of the complex, so I will bid you farewell. Unless... Uh, would you care to see what we've been working on? Not in the least. It is unreal to me. If I cannot hold it in my hands and smell the history in its pages, it is not there. I don't know what you do, and I don't care. But I do know fascism when I see it. I am well versed in the struggles against it. And I know that you will ultimately fail, as all fascists have failed. Watch your step. I will not. You must know this. You're nearly as old as me, but still so naive in the ways of the world. Control is illusory, Overseer. Your network, whatever you call it, I call it a trap. It will not catch everyone. And the ones who slip through it will regroup and stand against you someday. 
You think because of your fancy computers and your expensive surveillance that you can succeed with those who rose to power in the 20th century failed? You are naive. Control is a lie. Control is the linchpin of a safe society. You fall apart without it. Now, as you can't seem to control your own emotions, librarian, I'm confident you don't recognize a need for control in society. Good day, sir. Settle down, children, settle down. I am as anxious as you are to acquaint myself with Miss Prideaux. She is a most welcome addition to our republic. And to that end, I would like to present her and all of you with this small gift, a symbol of longevity and the relationships we look forward to watching take root. Thank you so much, Headmaster. As one who will be so singularly focused on the well-being of these young, bright minds, I am truly humbled. I cannot express how sincerely I am looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. I wonder what this mystery room with no camera feed could be. A Zager safe room, perhaps? Rack. I just received an alarming message that 933W was seen leaving the library wearing one of our uniforms. He may be heading back your way to find that girl he's been crushing on. Notify me immediately if the actions of any of our agents seem in the least bit suspicious to you. Zager's secret compound discovered. Inside the rat hole, sources say pornography, drugs everywhere. Zager almost certainly had other hiding spots. Even Derringer suggested as much to me the other night in a, uh, interview? I'm not printing this, of course. Makes him look bad. Makes them all look bad. You can't be perceived as having crack security when a crackpot is living in your walls rent-free. Zager's poisoned manifestos. More fuel for the fire. What? What is this? Mon dieu. 
Banning the children's access to such fundamental literature was not enough. Now he believes these books have been smuggled into the domes. Please let the headmaster know that I shall investigate this. Despite his suspicions being not only unwarranted, but mildly insulting. Madame, do you really want me to tell him that? All but the last part. The girl should be extra careful going forward. Looks like Mireille knows she has escaped from the brig. Mireille's liberal arts education is of little benefit in this crushing environment. I wonder if she would even recognize her former, idealistic self. Mireille's liberal arts education is of little benefit in this crushing environment. I wonder if she would even recognize her former, idealistic self. Something in those pages has me really quite upset. Zager's words sting like tear gas in the eyes of the establishment. Pages from the mini manifesto. Looks like they've been ripped out. Mireille would be wise to dispose of these more discreetly. A cell phone charger, worthless without the phone, but no less dangerous as contraband.
There are many alcoves within Metamorphosis. Each one, a perfect fit for a precal who wishes to remain unseen. Pursuit of 3908. Help! <gasps> oh. He's This is the girl's room. 3 not 0 h Of course, this isn't what she calls herself. Three nine zero h My dear, my inspiring pupil. I know you're not accustomed to gifts, but this is more than just some trinket. It is a secret between you and I. And it cannot be shared until we are both ready. So I will keep the key for safekeeping until the two of us agree to open it together. Until then, I hope you will treasure its beauty as much as I do you. And when you gaze upon it, I hope your thoughts will be of me. Hey, fishy. You hungry? Here you go. What does the world look like to you? Fishy, I'll tell you a secret. I like a boy who lives on the other hall. The one we call Weep. He sits beside me in history class and he's adorable. I'm too shy to talk to him. Pyramid flags flutter in the wind. His voice carries above them, singing a promise to lead these men to honor, protect, and love them. From his garden perch, he keeps us secure against the forces of evil. He spares our minds the hollow allure and fraud of Zager's upheaval. The Republic stands and will for all time, safe from ruin or disaster, because he is watching out for us all, our noble and wise headmaster. Hmm. I'll hold on to this.
is mine. Let's go for the steel. Got it. Help! Ah, I can't see! Look what your arrogance has wrought. You are destroying the things that make your life meaningful. You are doing this to yourself. And unless you tell me where you have hidden that manifesto, I will accelerate that which you have already chosen to inflict upon yourself. Please, Rack, take this precal to confinement. I would add stolen cell phones to that list. Hey, I'm arranging one of the tech crews to run a full diagnostic of the metal detectors in the facility. But I want you to oversee the work on your station personally. There are too many potential hiccups that could be had in the commissary. And with the arrival approaching so quickly, I'm looking to you to shore up the weakest link. If you need any additional resources, you let me know. just found a new battery for the girl's phone. Some Omniview abilities require battery power, and will not work when the girl's phone is not well charged. 
you will probably find more batteries lying around this facility. You may also recharge the phone at a demon server or inside confinement rooms. Hmm. Odd idea. My battery was running low. Got my post secure. If the girl needs to circumvent a room full of prayers rack, the vents are a good way to travel. Zero here. 
welcome to my domain. What would you like? Leaving so soon. Rizrak, checking in. Quiet night.
Prisrak, he spotted me. Get your hands off me! <gasps> Find you. be another way out of here. That file is dead and so have we, so are you when I get down there. There must be something you can do. Before we can look to the future, we must look to the one who will lead us there. Wisely, the politician shows that serving the people is the path to sane obedience. The neighborly policeman gives the children time to settle down, maintaining law and order with rare discipline. The civil engineer takes what is... The monopolist unifies different industries under the banner of righteous service to promote the common good. The overseer secures the bonds between us all. Only let him serve, and you will serve him. Okay. Let's get out of here before she shows up.
Nicely done. You are one cool customer. Now you have the Omni software update needed to access the library door. I have set a new waypoint to lead you back to the atrium. Before going back to the atrium, I recommend unlocking a few Omni abilities at this terminal. Welcome to my domain. What? Sorry to see you go. You know what I want. It's over. You're the rat in a cage. There is no escape. Passports and foreign currency. The overseer has an escape plan, even if the rest of us do not. Censorship AI to be updated, expanded. Profanity. An assault on young and old alike. Now that has gone too far. You can have my right to privacy. You can have my booze and caffeine and chocolate, but when you take away my right to curse a blue streak, you leave me with nothing to say. For once, in my job, I am absolutely speechless. A screwdriver. These are great for opening vents, but they are flimsy and will often break. Hopefully, there's more than one lying around. There goes another good screwdriver. Oh. 
открыта. To display a finality is premature, don't you think? Derringer doesn't think so. Either that kid's long gone or he's a skeleton in a wall somewhere. Either way, leaving his stuff laying around will only be a distraction. And this is not. You want our wards to focus on the arrival, and not the poison in those manifestos, correct? Then perhaps such a public celebration of the boy's ability to elude us is counterproductive, no?
Rizrak, checking there in. There's another good screwdriver. Zager's altered manifesto was still a work in progress at the time of his death. This old school boombox is ideal for playing back any audio cassettes the girl finds. Zager was always inspired by uprisings. He hoped to inspire those inside Metamorphosis to rise up in similar fashion. Zager called this photo the perfect metaphor for our times. The first photograph Zager ever took. There's an interesting story behind it. He told of it in his version of the manifesto. Got me scratching like a flea bitten dog in a patch of poison f***ing oak. Not to mention, I've got this clicking in my head that I just can't seem to shake. Bet you the overseer probably put a chip in my brain. Now it's malfunctioning. I figured forcing everyone to wear a collar wasn't enough, so he decides to tag us too. I've got an epic case of cabin fever. I think... I think... I think maybe I'm going crazy. <laughs> Crazier than usual. I gotta get out of here. I gotta... I tell you, my mind, it's melting. It's dripping out of my ears. It's all this technology. This invisible energy. It's cutting right through me every second of the day. Wi-Fi is killing me, man. It's cutting me down. Slowly. There's no way to... There's no way to turn my brain off. And no way to keep this guy's gray matter a secret from his prying eyes. Because he's psychic. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Stop saying that. Stop saying that! He has a billion cameras in this place, that's all. A billion cameras. And they're all aimed at me. Better if they were guns. You know, I'd kill myself if I thought it would keep him from reading my phones. But he'd probably just dig up my corpse, plug out my spine, and shove it into some computer. Do that yet? <laughs> My only choice is to keep drinking. Just keep drinking until my mind resembles overcooked asparagus. I think I'm halfway there, I think. The boy's side of the commissary. Every brain cell I drown. Is one less piece of evidence that bastard's thought police could turn against me. Booze is the best degaussing gun. This is where we eat. Okay, I gotta go. Remember, don't trust me. Not even anyone. Though this email doesn't mention it, 
We all know it was the librarian that slipped those poisoned manifestos to the kids. This is Central. Derringer's folks distributed the new allotment of tasers last night. With all the added precautions because of the arrival, he insisted they be stowed in the lockbox for safekeeping. Passcode is 4118. And watch your step. If you thought the old ones had a kick, you really don't want to be on the business end of one of these new models. This is a TEW. It really packs a punch, and will render its targets incapacitated for the night. Equip the taser as you would any item in the girl's inventory. I've never been over here before. We're not allowed. The headmaster calls it separate spheres. Sager here. I want to apologize for the recent radio silence, but Nothing going. lately there's been a special project occupying my time. See, I'm taking the old man's manifesto and I'm making a few changes. Treglazov may think his words are gospel, but I think he could use an editor. So I'm touching up those beautiful lies with a little ugly truth. All you've got to do is read between the lines. I gotta say, oh, it's actually been easier than you might think. You can't swing a dead priz rack without hitting a stack of manifestos in this place, so no shortage of raw materials. Oh, and if you're wondering about distribution, well, all I can say is there's a few sympathetic parties down here willing to scatter these new and improved copies around. Them. Drugs on the schoolyard. Good luck rounding them all up, Derringer. Oh, and Tregozov, if you're listening, and let's be honest, you probably are. Then know this. The damage is done. My marked-up manifestos will soon go into circulation. They will be read. They'll be passed around. Eyes will be opened. Minds will be blown. And there will be no going back. You can't stuff the back in this Trojan horse. Quiet. So happy reading. This is Zager saying to you, don't trust anybody. Not even me. Oh, but read my book. Oh no. Oh, and we're so close. There's too many of them. Howdy, partner. 
it is me, Cooper. I'm feeling pretty confident since I have gotten you this far. I have a plan to get the girl checkpoint. But first, you must proceed to the power station. I will explain there. Look for the power station waypoint in Omniview. Idea. My battery was running low. Welcome to my domain. Leaving so soon. Going in for the steel. Got it. is mine.
Cooper here. Now is our chance. Derringer just entered the library's security checkpoint and is fired up about something. Let's see what is going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm heading to you now. Good evening, sir. Watch your step. You may enter the machine at any time. Are you always an idiot, or just when I'm around? Sir? What's your number, you stammering waste of space? Sir, I... I don't, I'm not I don't... going into that thing. Now, we've been over this before. Turn it off. But, sir... Turn it off, or you'll wake up a month from now in the infirmary. We have to get Derringer and the other Prizrak out of that room. I suggest we create a little chaos in the spirit of Zager. Tell the girl to power down the grid. Then, Derringer and the Prizrak will freak out. They'll leave the security checkpoint. Then you can send the girl through safely under cover of darkness. Power down the grid now. Generator again. 
I smell a rat. Well, don't just stand there. Alert all Prizrak in the area. Get them to the power station. That means you two done. But sir, who's gonna mend my post? Damn it, stop asking questions and go! Was this your plan? Oops. Okay. So that's not good. It appears my plan has backfired. I should have thought this through better. Now, you must get the girl out of there before Derringer's men arrive. Sorry about all that. That plan did not go down as I hoped. But, the good news is that we have cleared out the library's security checkpoint. It is safe to send the girl through now. Who's out there? That was impressive. Sorry about the screw up back there. I guess I got a little overzealous. If you need my assistance going forward, I will be happy to oblige. But, it seems you are better suited to helping the girl escape than I am. If you succeed, make sure she doesn't forget about us pathetic souls trapped down here. Best of luck. Cooper, out. I owe you my life. What little of it is mine. Now let's get to the librarian. He'll help us. Please, stay with me.
Who is this? They don't save the images. LOL. The Overseer seeks to erase nudity from art, even as his body scanners create these vulgar portraits. Body scanners do not cause cancer. Metamorphosis doctors say fears unfounded. That's a good strong headline. Go print it before we're told otherwise. Say, which do you think would rile the citizens more? The fact that these machines do indeed cause cancer, or the fact that the naked images they capture are being turned into playing cards for the perverse amusement of the Prizrak? If you're going to kill me, just get it over with. Shut up! If I actually wanted you dead, I would have given you to Dellinger earlier. Now walk slowly forward, ahead of me, and do not turn around. You are part of something that you cannot understand. There is more going on tonight than these cameras can capture. You put for something that belongs to me. You called this interloper and brought them into our republic. Derringer has a server with the nude images of every poor soul who step inside that body scanner. Except for Derringer himself, of course. A broken collar. The pre-cow who wore it was also broken by Mirai. And that was before the Prizrak got their claws into him. Look at me. Honest eyes do not hide. Murray Azali Prido, July 14th at 0158. Dissection of a precal. Okay. State your name. Hope. State your name. Three, nine, zero. H. Very good. Quit shaking. I'm going to ask you some questions in French. I find your English to be too clever. Des mots habiles peuvent camoufler la vérité. Tu sais ce qui arrive quand on ne dit pas la vérité. Qui t'a donné le journal de Zaguer? Je ne peux pas vous le dire, madame. Menteuse! Qui t'a appris cette avance? Est-ce que ce traître a un nom? Comment est-ce qu'il t'aide? Qui a piraté notre système? Qui a attaqué nos prisraques? Qui t'a donné l'ordre d'attaquer nos prisraques? Je ne peux pas vous le dire, madame. Après tout ce que nous avons fait pour toi. You watch me. We look out for you. You lock me up. We protect you. From what? Yourself. The world beyond those walls is dead. And the ones who killed it would not hesitate to do the same to us. We survive only the 
because they do not know we exist. I play you have not doomed us all, child. What do they know? What do they know about our Republic? Que sert-il sur notre Republic? Everything. Whatever you do to me, they'll be watching. You are late. I found a plea cow here who has lost her way. There was no need for that. This one, I believe, will go quiet. <laughs> Thank you.